I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, dude? Eddie McGee. How you feeling, brother? Not bad. We had a Labor Day weekend. Well, I was going to bring us up. Yeah, what All do you right. got? So, I wanted to talk about time off. Yeah, PTO, bro. PTO. Yeah. Huge. It's money. What job have you had where they did not honor the last two weeks of summer as like open-ended figure? Everyone's expected to take time off. You know what I mean? Like, I've always had a job that expects you to take some uh, time off in the last two weeks of the summer. I don't think For I most had. of my, li- my life. Oh, really? I don't think I ever really had that. Oh, because you don't really... Even in ad sales at the office? When I was in advertising stuff, no, as an editor, it's kind of a shit show. Like, even, like... Waiting tables, all those jobs. That was oh, never, that's not a never had any of that shit. But th- even the good jobs that I had, uh, no, because it was like, we need you because everybody's on vacation. So, uh, like, they would always give me shit <clears throat> if I wanted to go somewhere during like the busier time. Mm-hmm. It, it's not even the busier times, it's the times when the people, senior people want to be gone. And but not even up? the senior people. As the editor, it's like they trust me more to kind of do the other people's jobs. Mm. Bullshit. Uh, so like a good producer will have everything in order. A shitty producer or a young new producer doesn't know all the things. But the editor kind of knows because he works with the producer all the time. Yeah. So he kind of knows. So you would be like, no, nah, we kind of need you on this kind of thing so mm-hmm. i would get those a lot um, which is funny because it's it means you're doing your job well but you're being punished it means i'm doing somebody else's job well that's what i'm well yeah, yeah I mean, i'm doing i gotta yeah. like yeah you're good enough to do two jobs and it, 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 it's a it, fucking it's brutal it's a dick in the ass for <laughs> sure dude it's brutal i remember selling used cars and i've talked about this before all the times that you want to take off in real life are the times that people are buying something Totally. So anytime you work in an industry where people got to buy something from you, you got to be open and flexible. Well, it's like waiting tables, dude. Waiting tables. It was like, dude, my Friday, Saturday was Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. It's the worst days of the week for you. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Because Friday, Saturday is when you make money as a waiter, bartender, all that shit. I always felt like that was kind of very working class, too, where you're – I remember being in jobs that were not just jobs like that, but just any kind of grunty – even if it was an office job, like a grunty job. Uh Uh-huh. You were always there when everyone got time off. Totally. And that was like, and you were just happy to not have a lot of people around. Even on- The reward for you is being there without Dude, no one there. That's so fucking funny. That's- and that was like a class thing. <laughs> like people were excited to go away. Yeah. And you were like, These I can't assholes- wait to sit here and fuck around in my chair. These assholes out there. Swivel Hamptons. wars they're with the other guys. <laughs> swivel chair wars. Yeah, they're out of the Hamptons. I'm like, yeah. hey, dude, I yeah. Get, I'm yeah. stealing that good chair. <laughs> You're just sitting at people's desks. I mean, it's literally like just the grown up version of you being that 14 year old, jan- 16 year old janitor yeah. going through people's shit. Yep. I mean, that's what you were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all home alone, Macaulay Culkin. Uh, full full time, yeah. That was my whole job, dude. I just the remember thinking alone. that, like, <laughs> right <laughs> now, if I had to, you, you know, at forty three and where I'm at, if you sent me into a job where they're like, you gotta sit around here where everyone's off for like real holidays, for real deal family holidays, I would, I would not be happy unless it was a job that was, hey, you're hosting this event on Labor Day, you gotta be there. But any kind of job where it's like not related to the goal yeah i would feel like i would i had failed if i had to go into a job where they i did not oh. get those days off dude i yeah i feel like that all the time but you're we you work for yourself you're a freelance guy yeah but still it's like uh, you know the the expectations are like we need you that, well that's the thing now because comedy's doing better i'm turning down some of those jobs where like oh we yeah. need you to work through the week like i'll get a schedule and it's got it's just continuous days mm-hmm for like 16 days and I'm like man I don't my wife and I were gonna go away this yeah. Saturday type thing or but now that comedy's doing better like I'm turning down some of those fucking mm-hmm. eat shit jobs that's where, great yeah, yeah yeah but you're saying that even as a freelancer you gotta make that money so whatever's offered you take sometimes I mean it depends how I'm doing like if we you gotta, have worked on holidays before oh fucking it, hey dude I work you last, charge extra I do okay I do 
Um, but you, so you're still in control of your own destiny. It's not yeah, like you answer to somebody. But they sometimes it's like they're not going to pay, or you know, it's, it becomes like this haggle thing. Yeah. Well, we can't really do this. That you know, it's a kind of a low budget job. I'm like, it's a low budget job over the fucking Christmas vacation, dude. Like, yeah. What do you think's gonna? Uh, uh, who do you, who are you gonna get to work? Who are you this? getting? Yeah, exactly. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's always a little fucking, uh, you know. Chasing money down as a freelancer is the worst. Dude. Because they could sit on your money. I've had people sit on my money for a month. Oh, a month is standard, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's Dude. so long. And I'm used to comedy where it's like you get you paid get when night. you get off stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I do some other real, quote unquote, real business, they hold on to your money like they're balls. It's just bro, forever. Bro, I had a job. So I... And I worked through a concussion on this job. Like, I had a bad concussion. About 2016, I had a really bad concussion. At least you got a show out of it, you know? Huh? At least you got a mildly <laughs> engaging show yeah, yeah, in yeah. a neighborhood. I got about it. two minutes on stage out of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, dude, and they took, it was a shit job. It was like VH1 or some some just garbage shit. But it was like weeks and weeks. It was a lot of money. It it was like 10 grand. Jeez. And it took nine months to get, dude. Nine uh, months. To, and there's no recourse. They know you're not going to. I mean, depending upon who you are, if you're an independent shop, you got to be able to take them to court. And that's like money and you're out of your pocket. Time, they know you're not going to do that. Well, I was just, I started showing up. Oh, you did the mafia thing. You I was start. just like hanging out and, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm here to see. I forget what her fucking name was. Like every time. I would just be there. I would just come. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm here to see. Is she expecting you? No, but she should be. <laughs> so finally, I had to pay you. Well, so, I just, I would not let it go. You know, There's no 10 G's. way I'm letting this go, dude. dude. I'm talking about a very it small was, amount of money I'm waiting on right now was, compared to that. And I'm like, need, of, I need it. It was months of my time, dude. And it was like through, like uh, like I said, like, I could, sure. like it was like fucked me up. Like I did not heal. My brain didn't heal as fast <laughs> because I was staring at screens for fucking two months. And you're already so frugal. I'm already a fucking. Yeah, like, oh yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. Cheap, you're like just all you could think about is that ten grand. It got probably got to a point you were so stewing you would have lost your life over that ten grand off principle. There was no way I wasn't getting paid. Oh, no, I was no, no. calm about it. Like it was like one of those things. Like if it's a hundred bucks or five hundred bucks, I, I kind of. I stress over it a little more because I'm like, ah, this dude, you know, you lend somebody my yeah, fuck my, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. in your head. But I was so resolved to the reality that you're going to get that money. I'm getting that money. Yeah. And it was kind of like a little bit of a zen. I'm like, I'm getting that money. Like, Jesus, well, like, what are you, you doing? After all this, you took all the options off the table for yourself, which is the equivalent of being present. <laughs> and a guy like you that I know of, it's hard to be present it's like your head's like got a million things going on in it yeah, yeah, right. so whenever you're zeroed in like yeah. fully zeroed in yeah, yeah, yeah. it must feel incredible it yeah. must feel euphoric when you're your yeah brain like when i have in. that fo that yeah that focus. kind of focus yeah, yeah, it yeah. must feel incredible for you yeah, yeah, yeah. i can only imagine yeah like because it was like i would like oh yeah i have to swing by and it was just like sc scheduled yeah i gotta stop by and how often how many times a week i was like twice a week twice a week and then what days like it was, Tuesday, a, Thursday? it was a phone call every day Phone call and then pop in on Tuesday, Thursday kind of thing. <laughs> Shit, I, I was I'm, like, I'm and she's right like, you. she's like, she's busy, but uh, okay, you just make sure she knows that I stopped by. Yeah. And I'll be by in a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. And I just would just keep coming by. What, at what point were you going to be ready to take it? Like, I guess the internet is different now. You could kind of burn somebody like a company if you went public to a certain degree. Well, there was that. Yeah. So there was that all lined up. But the thing is, I got word through the like grapevine that because they were closing oh. and so they weren't paying a lot of people. But the problem was, it turned out they didn't get paid for the job yet. Oh, so they technically because they were in rears on a bunch of shit, they couldn't pay that until they got paid oh and she would she wouldn't she was like just she knew what i was doing and she was like she was fine she was like uh, you know i respect what you're doing but i can't i don't have it yet oh i so kind of start thing. it's a start dude it was nine months. i and then i started well, nine getting, months is i started getting dribbles i started getting dribbles about oh, like okay s maybe like five if you know i got like two grand and I was like, all right, I just got to keep at, you know what I mean? I just got to yeah. keep going with this. I'm yeah. getting this fucking well, so you money. you were getting like installments. Yeah, dude. Oh, 
dude, how, can, how can we not be protected by that as, Bro, as freelancers? Bro, I was researching where everybody lived. <laughs> <laughs> I had a document and it was like within a folder inside of a folder inside of a folder. So that, and it was like named like recipes. You know what I mean? Like so that like, but it was just like addresses, <laughs> <laughs> children's names. You just see <laughs> strombolis outside of people's houses like an animal with fucking sauce on your face. <laughs> Mommy, there's a strange man on the lawn. Hey! hey I'm stop, I'm tell, hey, tell the kids I said hi. <laughs> tell little Johnny. <laughs> His Uncle Ed said hello. <laughs> Johnny, where'd you get that tuna fish sandwich? The nice man outside gave it to me, Mom. Says he's an editor. He worked for you nine months ago. <laughs> he said he gave birth to a full-term baby and still hasn't been paid. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, I'll never man, forget I, that shit. That was fucking crazy. That makes crazy. me feel worse. It's what not, do you mean? Because I'm chasing down some money. And now I'm like... Fuck, like I'm still, I'm Did, just now starting a freelance career that could oh, be we something. Oh, talk about this, an invoice so, situation. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. I'm, I know it's only been, you're, I've dealt with this before for other people, not myself, but know that like in the business world, an invoice is like a suggested thing. It's not always as, it's like the the payment date. Like I've, I've, I've seen some companies invoice people and be like, all right, needs to be paid or something in 30 days kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I feel like, or what? <laughs> I feel like sometimes the companies go, or what? 30 days or what? You know? Yeah, I mean, they're not. I mean, a buddy of mine got fucked. This oh, was what man. I'm saying. And then they go he like, hey, your invoice isn't right. He got fucked on like 30 grand. Oh, dude, see, and I want to throw 30 fucking up. grand. Yeah, dude. I don't want to be a salary employee. I don't want to. I don't want to be in it on my own anymore. Yeah. Yeah, already, I'm thinking like, can you imagine? You think you got this big score, yeah, and you're just waiting on it for, yeah. and you never get it. Thirty large, but you've already spent the money in your brain. It's torture. Oh yeah, you, it's torture. You've Dude, already paid like the losing, debt off. It's like losing. Money. Yes, it's. Yeah, that wouldn't. That would make me lose my fucking mind. Yeah, I almost lost my mind this week. I, I've been 10 days, no daycare. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, I've been 10 days over $150. I'm ready to fucking lose it. <laughs> you just saw me 10 days ago. <laughs> it took you saying what you said to me for me to chill the fuck out. <laughs> I have been fucking knee deep in dad, just t 10 straight 365. Oh, right, because there's there was no daycare last it week. It felt like 365. Yeah. Yeah. 24-7. Yeah. And my son is three and absolutely fucking buck wild. It's great. It's been great at yeah. times. But overall, I yesterday I almost had a breaking point. I'm like taking him in. I bought this wagon for him and I'm taking him in this wagon. And you could tell I live in a working class neighborhood because like, as I get further and deeper in the neighborhood where the playground is, everyone's like brown and not on vacation. Like we're all oh, right, in the yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, very right. peaceful. It's beautiful. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't hating on it. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you, I remember looking around going, oh, yeah, we all probably have similar mm -hmm. financial situations and yeah, jobs right. kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, I have this wagon and, and the fucking wagon, it, it collapses. So they've you know, d to make it smaller, uh -huh. it's a compact thing. So they've altered certain aspects of it. Like the handle doesn't stretch that as far as it should. Oh. So now my arm is long, but the handle's short and I'm too tall. So I have to compensate oh. and the wheel keeps hitting the back of my heel. Ah. And it's because it, you know it's uneven, ter you know uh, uneven yeah, terrain. Yeah, right. The hand because where I'm going is uphill sometimes, yeah, and right. weirdly downhill. And the handle, I can't guide it, and I can't keep my separation. So every time it's hitting my heel, I want to, I start grunting because I can't cuss because my kids in the right. right. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "What's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong, Dad? Dad? What's wrong? <laughs> then he, I want to go that way. And he's freaking out about a di a direction we don't need to go. It, I I wanted to." I wanted to quit life altogether, Ed. <laughs> I want to hand it all in. I want to hand my badge in. <laughs> you know what's my so badge and my firearm. You know what's so funny? And this like reminds me. This is like people I grew up with. 
Oh, you know what you need to do is. <laughs> I, that's why I'm telling it on air because I don't talk to anyone off air. Like, but like, I, I talk but to like, you and I, when you, I'm when never you're talking saying about anything. this wagon is uh, what you need to do is you need to get yourself a rope and then you you you, you lengthen it like that's my grandfather. Oh, like, you put it over your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. he's got he's got like a uh, just a hack for any kind of like. Yeah, but then he, it makes you look like shit. Now you're the guy totally. with a rope. Oh, dude, the car and, you're, and it's still digging into your shoulder. <laughs> I mean, you, you haven't look, improved you anything. You look like a crazy yeah, person. Like, why, yeah, like why? Let's get a new wagon. <laughs> I could have saved uh, yeah. with the extra twenty five bucks. I would have just saved my that Dude, whole thing. My grandfather, ha I had this nineteen eighty Mercury Capri, <laughs> and he had, uh, and it was like the whole car, like the muffler was held together with uh, paper clips. Like it was like he had just, you know, is it, it was my aunt's uh, car, his daughter's car, yeah. and then it got uh, passed down to me, and it was uh, the transmission. You know, it was an automatic transmission, but you know, they like you move it from like park to drive, right? Yeah. And it kind of clicks in. It's got a little button over there. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> over he, there. He, he had to redo something. He doesn't take it into the shop. He's just got a wire hanger in there oh, to kind of hold it in place. Yeah. But it didn't really snap in. So it could slide at any point into neutral and in reverse it a little in a bit. park. Yeah. And you got someone sitting in the passenger seat yeah. who's. A knucklehead like one of us talking emphatically uh, with his hands. Yeah, yeah. He puts you in fucking park on the freeway. So, for example, <laughs> we're on Tyburn Road, uh, high, me and my buddy, driving probably about 55, you know, 60 miles an hour. And he goes, hey, we hear like this rattle in the back. And he goes, oh, what do you think that is? I'm like, I don't know, dude. Climb back here and check it out. So he climbs from the passenger seat to look in the uh, back seat, the trunk, to look over into oh, the trunk. Oh, to get through the trunk. To go, yeah, he can look into the trunk, oh. right? And uh, as he's doing that, he kicks his oh. boot, hits the transmission, and I go from drive to reverse at 60 miles an hour the whole car seizes up we go like it was like straight out of like planes trains and auto <laughs> and we're just doing like this spin out at 60 miles an hour i'm like oh you're on the wrong side of the road <laughs> the wrong side of the road he's drunk <laughs> Dude, we spin out and it's like, and it's just the two of us screaming, and then it stops, and I'm like, oh my god, and I look up and there's a oh, truck coming right at us. I'm in oncoming traffic, and I'm like, G -g 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 -g. you're telling me life isn't all luck, dude. It's you should be dead five thousand times. Oh, over. so many times over. There is a. How do people not believe in some form of like? You have no say in the matter. This is. You're just meant what, to like be. What, like fate? You mean like fate? It's like you're meant to be here. Like, it's just the way the timing is. You just, okay, this is the way the timing is. And you should be dead a million times over. Like, you think about those hockey dudes. Uh-huh. Those two oh, decent dude. hockey guys dude. seem like, from everything coming out about them, is like the greatest guys. Yep. Sister's wedding. Crazy. Some dipshit drunk fucking hits them, kills them. On the, they have to cancel the wedding because they're in this. Just like the worst scenario ever. Yeah, dude. Just some two it's guys awful. on a on a bike. It's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. And then you got you hitting reverse in the middle of a fucking sixty mile per hour mm -hmm. throughway. Mm -hmm. No problem. Spinning out. No, yeah. no problem at all. No problems. <laughs> Just kick the wire back in to drive, <laughs> and you're on your merry like, way. Hey, drop that. You drop that joint. <laughs> Hey, what was that rattling, anyways? <laughs> it was like a paper bag in the back. <laughs> Just the wind was catching it. <laughs> I love how your high brain's like, I cannot take that sound. <laughs> yeah, what is that? I'll climb on the roof right now like Action Jackson and pull out that bag. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, that's like my family. Like the, the uh, like when you're talking about the wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ah, what you need is a good, yeah, yeah. good rope. Yeah, good rope. <laughs> Fuck that. It's such a... That's so funny to me. I know what you need to do is. <laughs> that's like a fucking... Like a throughput through like yeah, anything. Oh, just, ah, ah, what life. You, ah, what you need is... I can't, that's kind of why uh, I never bring... It took me a long time. Here's what I call it. I was talking to my wife. I was like, I don't want to accept their invitation to dance. That's how I equate what it what it's like to talk to people from our neighborhood. Like when I go back home. Mm -hmm. When I have something going on, whether it's a even the the most minute issue, I know if I bring it up amongst oh. them, yeah, I'm gonna hear fifty stupid things, yeah, gonna and they're gonna these... say it, 
yeah. as if it's gospel. Yeah. The way they say some yeah. of this shit yeah. that they think is going to be helpful, yeah. but they're not even being helpful. It's hold on, hold on. They, it, I'm waiting for them to pull out a box, stand on top of it, fix their bow tie, and then it's all about their ego. Like, let me tell yeah. you about yeah, yeah, yeah. what works yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's so fucking. Funny. I can't take it. <laughs> I it's like can't all of a sudden a whiteboard it. comes out and see what you do. What you're doing yeah, yeah, is, yeah, and then and then they go racing and go, what you should be doing. Uh, <laughs> it's it's, all, it's like watching generations upon generations of irritated people f pour gasoline on the fire. It's because I remember as I started to learn between right and wrong and how to approach things and how to build anything, whether it be a relationship or otherwise. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't articulate it yet. But I knew, like, okay, I know, I kind of know the basic steps here of how to do things. Mm -hmm. And then you're talking to these people and you want to tell them that's not how you do it. And then I used to get invested in debating them, thinking I would change their mind. Like, hey, look, I found fire. I found out how to make it. We but, don't have to do it this way. But you're way. talking more about, like, social interactions and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about, oh, yeah. like, how to uh, how you should be changing a tire. No, but that, you know I mean? I'm like, talking about that, too, because yeah. that's part of the social interaction. They're oh. itching to tell you how to live your life. They're itching in hopes of – they think they're offering you, like, a tidbit. Oh, sure. Of li like, I helped this guy out. I'm gonna help this guy out. Oh well, it's like it's directions. It's insane. It's like directions. Oh, dude, listen. To, oh my listen god. To before, I like, said, G dude, about fifty times already. We're only twenty minutes in. That's before, how you know I'm gonna Before fired like up. GPS, dude, I would hear my family talk about it. Oh, oh, wait, you took ninety five. Uh, oh, you got. <laughs> you didn't take thirteen. Wait, you. Took, wait. That's why I'm glad <laughs> I don't go home, home ever. Because <laughs> people know the highways and yeah, they yeah. want to tell you about the fucking highways. <laughs> We go back to my wife's hometown. Every, anytime we go, anywhere, which way? You, which way you come? Like yeah. I know that's like the hack bit, but they really do ask you. Oh, which? Why would you go that way? Yeah. Why would you go? That's what? My favorite. That why is my I, favorite. Why would you do that? Why? Why, why, why would you do? Like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> and then it's like, ah, uh, yeah. Look, I guess you haven't been here in a while. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that's also like, no, I have. Like, oh, you're always always trying to cut someone down. <laughs> What a defense mechanism! It's so like, fun. I know this shitty town see, better than any. Like, no, you don't. See, you get you get so annoyed by it. I, I get it such a I, kick out I, of it. I don't know. I it, it's a button a for me it. that I have yet to figure out how to unpress. Yeah. It is. It's like a bell that can't be unrung. I hear it. I like lose my mind. I'm like, oh, okay, now go ahead, get, go ahead, get it out, get it go out, go ahead, get it out. God, that's well, okay. that's what I mean. So now I don't take the bait, but it is really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 right. Cause it's, it, I'm more yeah. of like, oh, I wonder why he doesn't come around guy. I'm not a, like, I can't sit there and just be okay with, I, I get worked up. I well, the other sweating. thing I'll do too is I'm like, yeah, but no, but 13 at this yeah. hour, I, I'll start. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Yeah. I don't want to, you, you dance with them. I don't want to dance. I'll dance. I've oh, danced too sure. much already. Yeah, I've Patrick Swayze this thing. Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. Well, it's the other impossible. thing about the dance is the whole time I know this means nothing. Well, see, that's a different perspective. This that's almost just practice. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, just yeah. sparring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Which is great. I did that yeah. with strangers, though. I don't want to do that on my spare time. <laughs> I already spar enough. If I could only talk for like a small percentage of the week, I now know how my grandfather, my Italian uh, grandfather, yeah, felt. Yeah, yeah. He really, did, I mean, that joke's real. He really said very little, but when he would speak, it was interesting. Like, yeah. I liked talking to him, I yeah, enjoyed it. That's and cool. It's not because he, I mean, he was an interesting person, but he really stopped living life after he had a wife and kids. He didn't go anywhere, really. Right. So it wasn't like he had all these like fascinating things to tell me. Right. But the things he said to me were like, oh, because I didn't hear many of them. Mm -hmm. So I always, when he was talking, I knew he must really want to talk, which made him more relatable and a connection guy, probably unwillingly and reluctantly or unknowingly. Yeah. He was a connection guy, uh, which was awesome. I'd rather, I really understand why people don't talk. Sure. It's a beautiful thing not oh, talking. Oh, I love not talking. Ah, oh, it's the best. I love just like, ah, I'll just walk. We could just, sometimes I do that with uh, the people I walk dogs, my dog's friend with. I'm yeah. like, I can just walk. We don't have to talk. Yeah. We can just walk. <laughs> you know? I, I don't need to talk. Gene and I drove. Gene, I haven't talked in years. <laughs> Dude, we drove 45 minutes to take the dog swimming yesterday. I don't think we talked. The whole the radio's on, right? <laughs> yeah, we have a podcast on. That's oh, perfect. That, that, see, they're talking for you. That's great. Awesome. And then we'll start. Uh, actually, we did. And I'm like, yeah, because it was a Pulp Fiction podcast. And we were like, talk, we stopped. Oh, and we cool. did have a couple cool things. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. pretty good. Actually. Yeah, I got to listen to that one. Yeah, I love we went home Pulp and watched Fiction. the uh, first 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. it's God, perfect. What a fucking movie. It's man. perfect. Holy shit. Man, it's so good. Yeah. 
I, I was thinking about the offer, dude. The offer is what's fucking, the offer? It's that show that came out. So I read the book oh, about it, the Godfather. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Al Ruddy's. How was it? Was it's it good? A, I am. A series, I'm, right? I'm, it's a mini series. Yeah, I'm hooked because of a, a handful of things. The guy who plays Bob Evans is incredible. the The guys they got to play the females, everyone they got to play the real people nail it okay. which is impossible to do like remember how vinyl spent all that money Who? to the show vinyl that uh, uh mick jagger that. and scorsese produced yeah, I never that. it had uh bobby cannavale was the lead uh -huh. so they they spent all that money to try to recreate that era and they just missed the boat they just could like they got people to play all these famous rock stars and just didn't fit uh -huh. this show they nailed it the That's guy cool. who plays uh mario puzo the guy who plays Coppola, I mean, they are incredible. The Bob Evans character is incredible. It's just cool. all around. And the story's great. Yeah. So it's because great, yeah, you yeah. know the movie right. and the book and hearing them like go through it. And I read both books. I read The Offer. Oh, did you really? And that was a fantastic book. And they the, found a way to put it all wait, in wait. there. So the the... The book is the Godfather book. The, the or, books, well, Godfather is based the on the Godfather. book. It's it is, making but of the, Godfather. the offer is basically Al Ruddy, the producer of the Godfather's account of everything that had happened to get it made. So you read that book? I read that book too. Oh wow, that's and you a read great the Godfather book. books as well. I read those in Sicily. Oh okay. Uh, but that that the offer you should read that. That's you incredible. Read two books in Sicily. Are you no, no, no. I read the, the offer came out like a few years back, and then I got an option to do this. But I read a lot. You read a lot? Yeah. Tons. You fast reader? No, my dyslexia. Yeah. Uh, but I used to. I don't read as much because I don't commute as much as I used to. Oh yeah, yeah. But I used to finish probably a, when I was commuting. I finished a, two or three books a month. That's wow. That's amazing. Unless it was like I that's started great. out with because um, of my dyslexia, I didn't read a lot when I was when I was I in high out. school. I zone out because so my fast. dyslexia. If I don't know what a word means, but then when I got. The Amazon Kindle the first time, mm -hmm. and they had the app. You could hover on the word and look it up. Ooh! So I was able to read more because I wouldn't get stuck. Because I was reading a lot of that old, like Dickens and all these older. Oh wow! And that's so hard to understand if yeah. you don't have any context. Yeah, dude. Oh, it was brutal. Dickens. But I, I really love Dickens though. Yeah, I love Tale, Tale of Two Cities. I mean, I read. Uh, what did I read? It's I, funny because I'll bring it up and Faulkner I'll be. I read. I'll be spot on, but I'll mess a name up because my dyslexia. Uh -huh. Like I'll try to seem. You know, like oh, like I know that book, and I'll talk with someone who's actually like a like a, a great mind, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'll be like, oh, wow, I can't believe you knew that, and then I'll mess a name up. I think you mean uh, I think you mean Quick Quick, <laughs> like, fucking motherfucker. How <laughs> about I bash your fucking face? All of a sudden, I'm Joe Colombo. Would you bash your fucking head? And huh? a bottle gets crashed. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking tell me about Moby Dick, asshole. <laughs> You talking to me about the Renaissance? You fucking square. <laughs> <laughs> I just turn into the knucklehead. Yeah, you're like, can't take it. Don't tell me about <laughs> Herman Melville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, man, I don't read. Uh, I, man, I, I used to. But you're not to, a dumb guy either, though. I used to read. I used to be. I feel like I got, I've gotten dumber. I feel like I've gotten dumber. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not saying I agree with you. I'm just saying I feel like when I'm not reading a bunch, I don't feel as as strong, like witty wise. I don't feel like I have ac quick as quick access to Vocabulary. what I'm trying to say. Well, that's when I'm reading a bunch. It's like the gym. Like yeah. you're go. Oh, yeah. okay. I got muscle memory. I yeah, got the yeah. endurance. Uh huh. Also, I think like having you know the kid is a fucking whole other. I got a whole other list of things my energy's going towards now yeah, yeah, so my sure, sure, sure. like i always think i always have these great plans when he goes to bed like i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna take care of about 50 things yeah. for about from seven to ten dude, dude i smoke a joint and i'm like i'm never gonna do anything ever again <laughs> i mean at, that, at this point i'm never doing anything ever again there's something about marijuana like right it just lets me go okay we're, we're done mm -hmm. it's over i know once i smoke I'm saying it's over. I'm like that with like, like late night, like a, like a cookie. Yeah, like cookies. I, I'll oh, I've watched you check out after eating like a fucking crazy Sunday. Yep. At an Applebee's or something. Like, that's it, dude. I'm done. I, I ain't got nothing left to say to nobody. Let's get fucking back to that hotel. It's, it's, I'm good. I'm ready to crash. <laughs> 
I had a, I had like a couple. I had like an hour last. What's night. What's your greatest? What's your most favorite fucking dessert to fall asleep with? Because you're really I, sleeping I, with it's it. It's ice cream. Yeah. It's ice cream for sure. Does uh, that that not give you like? But it's so crazy much gas. Uh, no. Is your stomach still breaking down dairy? In a healthy yeah, way, I think so. I, I kind of cut, be- I kind of cut it out a little bit though, because it's so much sugar. It's you, so much. But here's the thing, because here's the thing, I can't stop. Oh, you'll eat, you'll eat the whole thing. Pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll do the whole okay, pint. pint. I can't not. I can't. You can't do a scoop and bounce. Ugh. And the other thing I do is I let it sit out so it's like fucking soft. You're just drinking it. Oh, bro, oh, it's disgusting, dude. You're, I can you're just, disgusting, dude. dude. I can just put it there. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're just sipping it like no, coffee. I don't. I mean, I use a spoon, but it's wet. Oh, oh. It, <laughs> so it's not even ice cream anymore. It's ice cream. It's soft ice Why cream. Why would you eat runny ice cream? Cause it tastes so much better, dude. <laughs> just make a milkshake. I mean, I, I'm not doing all that. I could just <laughs> fucking. I could just use a spoon. I'm not cleaning up after a milkshake. Who's doing that? I can get all fucking. I'm. I'm doing this and fucking passing out. Oh man, when I was in. Um, this reminds me of. When I first started dating Lauren, I lived around here, but like a couple blocks down. And on my way home from the Lantern, like Tuesdays and well Wednesdays and Thursdays, we didn't see each other. The first year we dated, that was like the two nights that we wouldn't see each other. Mm-hmm. Other nights she would be spending the night with me. Mm-hmm. So Thursday was like my big comedy night, and I would get drunk after my set. I would just get fucking wrecked at the Lantern. I was so fucked up. <laughs> and so every Thursday. I'd get fucked up, walk across the street. There used to be this deli called Jaja Deli, and I got friendly with this dude from Naples or uh, Nepal. Sorry, <laughs> Anabolic died. <laughs> he was Asian and Anabolic died like a funeral. Uh, from Nepal, this dude was—he was one of those dudes. Like he had this long hair, and he I came in one day. He was bald, and he's like, "Yeah, I cut it all off to donate to a charity for oh, wigs." Wow. He's like a good dude. That's amazing. And he used to make this fucking amazing chicken cutlet sandwich. Oh, yeah. And I would take the chicken cutlet sandwich. I'd buy one of those giant Gatorades. Mm-hmm. Haagen Dazs. Co- what color? Oh, I go the yellow color. You go yellow? Oh, yeah. Original. I'm original guy. Original? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haagen Dazs cookie dough pint. Oh. Doritos. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Cool Ranch? Cool Ranch yeah. Doritos. Cool Ranch with ice cream is pretty I'd fucking good. get a cab right in front of. God, I can kind of taste this. Right? And then i get back. To my apartment where at the time I had a roommate and I had a little TV at the edge of my bed, a little flat screen, and I had a Wii and it had um, Netflix on it. It was one of the f- oh, only okay. ways to get your Netflix. Yeah. You only- had to either have like an Xbox or like yeah. something like that. Uh-huh. And I would watch Netflix in bed eating that and just wake up the next morning fucking Heartburn, oh, dude, two yeah. Pepsi level yeah, heartburn. I, I, kinda, I just got a little, right with yeah. the cutlet and all the shit yeah, on it. It's a lot. Uh, all it's, the juices on my fucking comforter. It's the Doritos too, man. That's I'm really, hungover yeah. like no other. And it was the days where you started to go in the office the next day. Mm-hmm. I used to become a pro at the, the Hangover Friday. Oh, so I'd go in, eat a giant eat. bagel and cheese. Yeah. Totally. And I didn't drink coffee then at the time. Mm-hmm. So it was Coca-Cola. Yep. Then for lunch, Shake Shack yep. with the shake. Yeah. And then go home and crash yep. until I had my show that yeah. night. And I put on, I went from like yeah. 175 to about 215. And I finally was like, dude, I can't keep doing this to myself. And a month of not doing that, two months of not doing that, I dropped all the weight. That's how much it was. Isn't it crazy? It's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how much... I it was, does to you. The, I, it's like a ten thousand calorie yeah, meal. Yeah, I was drinking like two Mountain Dews a day. Uh, this is like two thousand eight. Man, I put on so much fuck. What man. you know? It's all this. I, you just I quit drinking the Mountain Dews and I kind of I kind of cut back a little bit on like the chicken parms, <laughs> and I dropped like dude, I dropped like thirty pounds. Yeah. it was crazy. And I remember Lauren being like, "That is insane! How fast you lost that weight? How?" And it's insane how much weight you put on because of what what was going on. And uh, it hit me like it, it really is that <laughs> built-in vacation when you like when you don't when you don't have options of taking a break. Like, let me ask you something. I guess, but when well, I go on vacation, I'm eating like but, that. But that, too. but you're already pre-prone. What I'm talking about is like growing up in a scenario for me. The scenario I was in is that you, we can't afford to go on a vacation, uh-huh. so any kind of treat is associated with something that makes our endorphins go off. 
So it's like, here's, we're going to, we're going to have a treat. Let's get McDonald's. Like I associate any kind of treat with like any kind of food treat with vac- like, like this is, this is our vacation because we can't afford a vacation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I can't I didn't afford have it a, like that though. That wasn't. That, you don't associate food it, it or not, it, it low not, level shit like going to a park and sitting around like an it asshole. Wasn't, it wasn't connected to like a vacation situation. I just uh, meant more like people have access to mental health days type of shit, like a relaxation. There was no separation from the shit going on at home. <laughs> I mean, you're telling me like you so you're like it's like a prescription. It's like, yeah, like instead, instead of, like, of Lexapro, you get more Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they, maybe that's why they call them Happy Meals because they're like, hey, you're poor, you're getting fucked up at home. Have a nugget, shoot those endorphins off. Hey, you will buy another ten. All right, what I'm gonna prescribe for Josh? He's fucking up at school. Uh, give him three Happy Meals a week. So he's coming in. He's sleeping at his desk. He's not alert. Doesn't seem like he's getting the proper sleep or also the proper nutrition. Prescribe school lunch. Here's a microwave pizza where the fucking cheese is falling off. You ever eat? Man, I ate Dude, some slop. You're fucking for, up at work and somebody just drops off a pack of Capri Suns. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Here's your bonus for the hey, year. Hey, get your shit together, will you? <laughs> Just throw some fucking back in. Oh, oh, Capri Suns. Oh, dude. Give me a Capri Sun and Gushers, and I'll just let my teeth fall out. Oh. Remember Gushers? Wait, wait. Is that the thing? No, no. The, the Gusher was this fruit snack that you chew, and it explodes in your mouth. Oh, no. I don't remember that. It was in the 90s. You're, eh, maybe you were too old for that. Yeah, I might have been a little too old for that. Yeah. Uh, Man, that was the go-to. Gushers. No, I don't. I would the the fucking straws that had the just the straight sugar. Oh yeah, yeah, thing. the pixie dust shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the dip. And then uh, you eat the thing, dude. The dip. Uh. I remember this Mexican girl I thought was so fucking hot. She was like a chola. So if you're from you know Southern Cali, it's like those Mexican chicks that really do their hair. They're almost like Guidettes from uh, Jersey, but uh-huh. they're Mexican. Right. Uh, similar kind of brand, like big yeah. hair, like big, hair big girls. tits, I, big I, ass. I, yeah, I dated. But a crazy like eyeliner, oh, like yeah. very like big nails, uh-huh. like very, very much like Mexican, like Fato local for life shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I was in seventh grade, and this woman, I um, heard this girl so sexy, and it was like the era that is now back again, where you can wear these giant jeans and like low low top you know ba- like t sh- like low top adidas and then like a halter top and shit yeah, yeah she was just fucking seventh grader with like giant boobs already like yeah, just yeah, yeah. perfect right and she would eat these flaming hot cheetos and then just suck the ah, flaming hot off her fingers hot. in class and i remember thinking yeah. like it's gross but because she's hot yeah 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 this, I, mean, I would have to go home and handle that <laughs> that would just get Boop, right in the old, right in the old sand disc card yeah, of jacking it. Flaming Cheetos is like now like a trigger for you. <laughs> I smell it. I got like a shame erection. <laughs> is, that, is that Flaming Cheetos? <laughs> hey, get those out of here. Come on. Right, I'm trying to work. <laughs> Trying to focus. Hey, hey, who brought these flaming Cheetos in here? I'm trying to fucking get some work done. I used to jerk off so much with this particular aloe vera lotion by Suave back in the 90s. Every time I ever would smell it after that, I would fucking think about just jacking off. Like just missing important meetings. And you're like you're like in a relative's house and it's like you're and you see the aloe vera, you're like, oh, this is embarrassing. I'm Why honestly, up until like 2007, I'm jerk, I'm just gonna jerk off your house. <laughs> Let me just get that swath, take it in the room. It was like one of those, and it would always burn your urethra. Your Which one was it? This, it, it had an aloe vera plant the, on it from the, Suave. Oh, Suave. And it was giant. Because the Avena one was the one I remember Avena using. Avena was a higher Avena. quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avena was, I I, I, I've been that. on a lot of road gigs, and the travel side of Avena came into a fucking help me <laughs> tremendously. But then it burns your urethra because of the perfumes they put in that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally, totally. But I, re- I was dating a girl who used Avena products. Yeah. So that it became like... That's what I would go and get. Like yeah. after we broke up, like then I, that's what I would use. That was their like, influence on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. It was my takeaway from the relationship. <laughs> I just, then you gotta you gotta man up and just get the proper lubrication or coconut oil. Figure it out. Whoa. Coconut Whoa. oil is next level. Oh fuck. Yeah, dude. 
I, helps I, your hands. Too. I don't need any. You know what? I don't need any more. <laughs> no I, reinforcements. Know, nah, it's you're it's, gonna have a whole st- a coconut oil station by the bed. Nah, <laughs> I don't need any new fucking things, man. I, I you know I need like. Somebody needs to make it more <laughs> difficult. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. You're going to fucking give me tips? All right, hey, right. Gene, it's natural. <laughs> it says, look, use in hair and, and also in cooking. <laughs> I do love I do love the fucking callback, the inherent callback. What you need to do is. <laughs> what you need to do is you get some coconut oil. I am that. Maybe that's why I hate those people, because I am those people. Oh, no. I, I, know, I know you are, and dude. I hate myself <laughs> so much. I can't stand to be around anyone like me. <laughs> Being around me is enough. I don't want to be around oh 20 other me's. So good. <laughs> oh, shit. No, you need to do. You need to start jacking <laughs> off with coconut oil, pal. <laughs> you need to think about your dick health. Oh, so good. <laughs> uh, you can right. follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com for tour dates. We have quite a few dates coming up, and they're all... I actually updated all of those so go on there and buy your tickets now uh for all the upcoming shows tapped apple september 14th saturday 8 p.m tapped apple westerly rhode island it's a gig that we love we love the venue we love the people if you're anywhere near there we would love to see you so go buy those now do it yeah follow me on instagram at mcgowan comedy uh go to mcgowan.com to see my city dates See all our tour dates and then email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 